now it's going to ask you to press Control Alt Delete to log on. So we're just going to use our little keyboard and Control Alt Delete. It's going to ask you a password. We do not put any password. So if you press Enter, it should log you on automatically. Okay, so if you have the desktop of your computer ready, you should see that you have Plexus Admin Instructions and you have your POS software, which in this case we are using Plexus. So now you want to start off by logging in. And for this, we have an admin set up. So we're going to go to Help, and it's going to give us the choice of accounts that we can use. We're just going to use Administrator 10. Okay, so now we want to make our printer work and our cash drawer work. And by testing that out, we want to go to Setups. And then we want to go to Utilities, Diagnostics, Cash Drawer. And it should open up a little window with the drawer open command that is already there and a drawer a cash drawer name, which is our printer name. Now we want to test it out by pressing test. And the cash drawer opens so it functions. Now we're going to test out the printer. So we want to go back into setups, then utilities, diagnostics, and receipt printer. It should already have a printer name, Epson TM T88, and a cutter command. Now we want to test it by just pressing test. And it prints, so that just means it works. So if you turn your NCR around, you'll notice that there's a small display in the back, which counts as a pull display. And we'll be testing that out. So first you want to go to Setups, Utilities, Diagnostics and Pole Display. And it's going to tell you that the pole port name is generic and that the pole model is ultimate. Now we're just going to press Test. Now, if you look at the back of your NCR on the little display, you'll notice that it lights up saying Test Number One, and that just means that it works. Now we want to access the menu that people will see. So, first we want to go to Cash Register. And then we want to put in a number from 1 to 9, depending on the user. So I'll be using number 1. Then I'll click Accept. Then I'll go to Enter New Sale on the left side of the screen. And it'll give me my menu. So I can click on anything. And on the left side of the screen, it'll start adding up. And it'll give me a sales total. So now, if we want to test out our printer and our cash drawer, we're just going to do Pay. And then after we're going to choose cash for the cash drawer to pop out. And then we're just going to choose a balance that's higher than the remaining balance. So I'll just choose 40. And the cash drawer works. And the printer works. So you can see that the printer prints out all the information that you entered on the screen. And your cash drawer opens.